Hi, this is Ray Horner for Horner's Corner, and today we make our way to Firestone. The plans are in place for a brand new complex. Turf, band, soccer, football. Dollars need to be raised, and the amount of the complex that we'll see will be depending on what we're able to put together with funds. To me, it's a need, not a want. Let's give you the story this week on Horner's Corner. Well, it was the uh, boosters, both the track and soccer boosters, saw the plans for a basic uh, grass field and a cinder track. And in discussing the, the plans, we thought we could enhance it and hope for it a turf field and a rubberized track that would be uh, more useful. And, and since this is going to be a new, it already is a new school, and we're going to get a new you know, outdoor facility, we wanted to have it be something nice for the kids and uh, be more useful for meets and for uh, for having soccer tournaments and ongoing games where they right now we currently play soccer games out at Copley Road facility there's no lights it's a grass it's a nice field the fields are great but you can't play in the fall past uh, we have to start our games before five o'clock so that we get them in so it's kind of rough on the parents to get there, plus the kids like to play in the lights, scoreboard, and have that you know, high school soccer experience. So we actually do some work with Akron Public Schools and actually happen to be friends with some of the people that are part of the Firestone Boosters. Uh, my husband is also a graduate of Firestone, as are his four siblings. And so we were asked to come and help kind of coordinate some of the fundraising efforts, do some of the print materials for the um, for the effort and to guide them um, because we are a consulting firm that actually works in fundraising and nonprofit marketing. So it seemed to be a good fit for us for a lot of reasons. Uh, I think this project is, is big not just for Firestone but for the city uh, of Akron. I think this complex allows us another opportunity to engage the community um, in, in multiple ways. Uh, imagine having more than one athletic complex where we can have city meets, um, track meets, and so on and so forth here. So I think I think it's big for Firestone because it gives us and our learners a place to practice without traveling, but it's also really big for the city. Right of now um, we're looking at a project that's pretty large um, because some of the things that they're trying to do to upgrade the facilities are including a uh, all-weather, uh, all-surface high-quality track, um, and then also ideally it would be great to have a turf field that could be used not only for uh, football, but it could be used for soccer, it could be used for band, it can be used for youth sports as well. And I think it's important to note that this is not just a project for Firestone. This is a facility that can be used by anyone within the city. Um, the group envisions having the City Series track championships here. Um, people within the West Akron community and even beyond can come and use the track of the facilities. And even a lot of youth sports could take advantage of this as well. Anytime you can enhance the uh, high school experience with um, athletic events or band competitions or soccer events, I think it helps the city, I think it helps the schools, and I also think it benefits the community down the stretch because the high school experience is that much more rich.